May the sacred flame light your path on this fine day. And may it ever shine its warmth upon you. <laughs> How many times have we said those words? And yet, they seem to take on a whole new meaning now. Each day is one day closer to my departure. Perhaps I'm more nervous than I thought I was. Liana? You needn't worry about me. I was born to make the pilgrimage. My father did the same 20 years ago. As his daughter, I cannot let him down. You really are incredible, Liana. I don't know how you do it. What? As the Archbishop's only true-born daughter, everyone always expects so much from you. And yet you never fail them. Each of your sermons is more inspiring than the last. And now, the pilgrimage. So much is placed on you alone. Don't be silly. I'm not alone. I have you, don't I? And everyone at the cathedral. Why, you're the one who helped me think of a topic for that last sermon, Ophelia. You even stayed up nights with me to draft it. A willing set of ears and a few pretty words, that's all I could offer you. I wish I could do something that would truly help you. Oh, abandon such worries and come, my sister. Father is expecting us in the chapel. <laughs> there you are, my girls. Your Excellency, may the sacred flame ever light your path. Have you need of us here, Father? I wish to see you, that is all. Do carry on with your duties. As you wish, Your Excellency. It is as if the two of you have become women grown in but the blink of an eye. How long has it been, Ophelia, since you came to us? Fifteen years, Your Excellency. Or near enough so. Fifteen years. I suppose it is little wonder that you have grown so. I was but an orphan, Your Excellency. Starving and sickly. I would not have lived to see this day if you had not taken me in. I may not have said it enough growing up, but my heart is full of gratitude for all that you have given me. No need for such words, my child. We all follow the path the flame illuminates for us. Come on, Feely. We're family. You, father, and I. There's no need to be so formal about it. Why should you have to thank us for being with you? That's what family's for. Of course. You're right, Liana. And besides, Father may be a great archbishop in here, 
but we both know he's just an old layabout at home. Isn't that right, Father? <laughs> an old layabout? Oh, you wound me, Leon. of the cathedral keep you busy, Father, but honestly, you're no help at all when it comes to keeping a household running. Would it kill you to cook a meal or dust the bookshelves from time to time? Oh my. When you put it that way, I suppose I am quite useless after all. So even the great and beloved Archbishop falls short in the discerning eye of his daughter. So it would seem, Ophelia. <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> now, tell me, Liana, are you prepared for your journey to the Cave of Origin? But of course, Father. I am ready. In the deepest recess of that cave is where you will find the first flame. You will take the ember to the churches across the realm, where it will serve to light the sacred fires that warm and protect all the lands. This is the kindling, the time-honored rite held without fail once every twenty years since the days of old. Your journey will not be an easy one. As soon as you step foot into the wilderness, you will be met with lawless villains savage beasts. Yes, many a servant of the church has made this journey throughout our history. Some have never returned. But I know you can do this, my daughter. Everyone has put their faith in you. You have my word, Father. I won't let you... I won't let anyone down will carry out the rite, just as you did twenty years before. Very good, my child. Very good. <coughs> Father? Are you alright, Your Excellency? <coughs> it's nothing to worry yourselves over. Just my years announcing their advance. You mustn't sound so gloomy, Your Excellency. There is still so much we would learn from you before we let you call yourself Archbishop Emeritus. Ophelia is right, Father. Like she always is. You should retire for the day and let your body recuperate. We can handle things from here. We will let the Pontiff know that you are resting in your chamber, sir. When my two girls insist, who is this old man to deny them? I will leave the preparations for today's service to you. We will take care of everything, Your Excellency. I'll see Father back to his chambers. Thank you, Liana. I will see to our duties here. Well then? Come with me. Of course. Thank you. 
mother! Young man! Oh! Actually... Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I see. If I might. No, no. No. <gasps> it's a disaster! But how could... No, no. Forgive me. Your Excellency! Ophelia, please! Forgive me, Liana, but His Excellency... What His Excellency needs most now is rest. Please try not to excite him. Of course. Forgive me. Liana? Yes, Father? The pilgrimage. The sacred flame. Yourself, Father. I will perform the rite without fail, just as you taught me. Father? Father? Worry not, Sister Liana. He is only resting. Sister Liana, are you not well? <sighs> I'm... I'm fine. I... I think I just need some fresh air. Before the others, I worry for her. I should be by her side at a time like this. Thank you. 
Liana, how are you feeling? Ophelia? Liana, what am I to do, Ophelia? Father, my father is... Liana, thinking about what might happen makes me feel so scared, so angry that I... I feel like my heart might just burst. But if I fall to pieces now, everyone will lose hope. I must be strong. And soon... I must depart on the pilgrimage. The right cannot be put off any longer. There are centuries of tradition we must obey. But leaving my father behind, without even knowing if I'll ever, ever see him again. Don't despair, Liana. We are together in this. We will find a way. Ophelia. Now then. Hey. Huh? Oh. I 
I'm sorry. Yes. Hail.
choice. My turn now. Oh, sacred lot. My turn now. Do my best. I hope we've grown more able.
What? I 
shall not be defeated. I'll do my best. 